Hundreds of things from the distant past have been discovered in the last few years by scientists and architects. However, listen, Molly. Tell me. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of this discovery. Sometimes such discoveries were made by ordinary workers. Join us because today we are talking about some discoveries that are important for a better understanding of the entire history of mankind. 20. 1,600-year-old seven-foot-long sword. While excavating the Tomio Maruyama burial mound in Nara, Japan, archaeologists made a remarkable discovery last November, a seven-foot or two, 0.1-meter-long iron sword dating back 1,600 years. Known as a Dako sword from the Kofun period, it held a unique snake-shaped design and served a symbolic purpose, protecting the elite deceased from malevolent spirits in the afterlife. Accompanying the sword was an extraordinary find, a 124 pound or 56 kilogram, two foot or 0 0.6 meter wide, one foot or 0 0.3 meter tall, shield-shaped mirror, believed to share the same protective purpose against evil forces. Both items had been buried as part of military traditions showcasing their significance in ritualistic and martial contexts. This ancient burial site, the largest circular mound in Japan at 357 feet or 109 meters in diameter, reflects the grandeur of the Kofun period from 300 to 710 AD. This era succeeded the Yayoi period and is characterized by elaborate burial mounds constructed exclusively for the elite. The sword's meandering design distinguishes it as the largest iron sword in Japan, one of around 80 similar relics found throughout the country. Notably, the shield-shaped mirror is a groundbreaking discovery, the first of its kind. Expert insights from Nara University archaeology professor Naohiro Toyoshima emphasized the prestige associated with these swords in high society during the Kofun period, Kosaku Okabayashi, Deputy Director of Nara Prefecture's Archaeological Institute of Kashihara, expressed astonishment at the technological sophistication demonstrated by these artifacts, considering them masterpieces in metalwork from that era. While not crafted for battle, these relics exemplify the cultural and spiritual significance of weaponry in ancient Japan, offering a glimpse into the intricate beliefs and practices of a bygone era. 19. Snake-like lizard. During a recent expedition, scientists in Australia made a surprising and thrilling discovery, the lion's grassland striped skink, a tiny-legged lizard thought to be extinct for over 40 years. The Queensland Museum and James Cook University team stumbled upon this elusive creature, along with two other threatened species, the Mount Surprise sliders and limbless fine-lined sliders. The lion's grassland striped skink, not sighted since 1981, measures a mere two inches or five centimeters from snout to the base of its vibrant orange tail. Known for their secretive nature, these skinks boast snake-like features and are believed to hunt insects in tall grass while seeking refuge in soil cracks to evade predators and the sun. The Mount Surprise sliders possess small stumps as back legs, enabling them to navigate through soil, while the limbless fine line sliders lack legs entirely, facilitating a unique ability to essentially swim through the soil, as described by expedition leader Andrew Amy, the collection manager of amphibians and reptiles at Queensland Museum. These three skink species residing in the Mount Surprise area face vulnerability due to their limited distributions, making them susceptible to factors like bushfires, droughts, and disease. The rediscovery has sparked a keen interest among researchers who aim to delve into the populations of these creatures to better understand and protect them. 18. Untouched pool full of milk found deep in cave. Deep within the mysterious Lechugilla cave 
in New Mexico's Carlsbad Caverns National Park, a team of American explorers uncovered a wondrous surprise, what they playfully dubbed a pool of milk. Situated a remarkable 2,300 feet or 700 meters below the Earth's surface, this untouched liquid marvel is surrounded by frosted white rock, creating an ethereal spectacle. Despite its apparent murky blue hue with a creamy tint, the pool's color is, in fact, a clever optical illusion, and the water is crystal clear. Described as completely pristine by park employees, this untouched oasis is a unique find, believed to result from ancient rainwater seeping through the limestone roof over countless years. In 2019, during an expedition in Lechuguia Cave, the explorers shared their excitement on Facebook, marveling at the pool's untouched beauty. Max Wishak, the expedition leader, suggested that the pool fingers at its edges might be bacterial colonies that evolved in isolation from human influence. The pool's pristine nature means water samples remain largely free of contaminants, offering a unique opportunity for scientific study. Rodney Horrocks from Carlsbad Caverns noted that the pool had been isolated for hundreds of thousands of years and had never seen light before that day. Exploring such untouched pools is crucial for scientific research as they provide insight into microbial organisms free from external influences. 17. Royston Cave Imagine strolling through the charming town of Royston in the UK, completely unaware that beneath its bustling streets lies a secret cave, discovered purely by accident. This hidden marvel, known as Royston Cave, boasts mysterious carvings along its walls, captivating the imagination of both locals and tourists. The cave's origins remain shrouded in mystery, with no conclusive evidence as to who created it or how it came to be. Its walls showcase a fascinating blend of Christian and non-Christian markings, featuring depictions of Jesus and his disciples, Richard the Lionheart, and even King David of the Psalms. Despite various theories, the cave's age and purpose elude historical records, making it a captivating enigma in Cambridgeshire's history. One prevailing theory suggests that the cave belonged to the Knights Templar during the Middle Ages, while others speculate it might have served as a Freemason's lodge. Regardless of its origin, Royston Cave surprises with an extensive collection of low-relief wall carvings, some possibly originally coloured. The cave's intrigue deepens with non-Christian carvings portraying a horse and an earth goddess known as a Sheila Nagig, symbolising fertility in pagan traditions. Among the enigmatic carvings are smaller figures and symbols that continue to puzzle researchers. Open to curious tourists, Royston Cave provides a glimpse into its mesmerizing carvings, offering a journey into the mysterious past beneath the unassuming streets of Royston. 16. 2,300 year old bronze statues. In the idyllic hills of San Cassiano, Tuscany, Italy, a recent archaeological marvel unfolded, a cache of two dozen ancient Roman bronze statues hidden for 2,300 years in the muddied ruins of a Roman bath. But these aren't ordinary statues. They depict Greco-Roman divinities like Hygieia and Apollo, crafted by local artisans between the 2nd century BC and 1st century AD. Declared by Massimo Osana as the most significant bronzes ever produced in the history of the Mediterranean, these nearly three foot or one meter tall masterpieces boast meticulous details. Unearthed in 2019, the statues were found partially submerged, suggesting a ritualistic bathhouse role. Alongside them, a fascinating mix of religious objects, gold, silver, and 6,000 coins created a treasure trove. Their intentional submersion around the first century BC remains a mystery, but thank the Christians for unwittingly preserving them in the fifth century by sealing the sanctuary. Reflecting Italy's blend of Roman and Greek history, 
these artifacts linked to influential families are a testament to the multicultural oasis the Baths became during the shift from Etruscan to Roman rule. As restoration begins, the excitement among archaeologists, historians, and museum curators is palpable. Jacopo Tabuli aptly stated that these 24 bronze statues are a discovery that will rewrite history. 15, 52-foot-long papyrus Egypt. You probably know that papyrus is the forerunner of today's paper, but did you ever imagine unrolling a 52-foot or 16-meter-long ancient Egyptian scroll brimming with spells to guide the departed to the afterlife? Well, archaeologists in Egypt did just that when they uncovered the Waziri papyrus in March 2022 near the Step Pyramid of Djosa, Egypt's earliest colossal stone structure. Initially thought to be a 29-foot or 9-meter scroll, it doubled in size, unraveling a tapestry of gods and the afterlife. This unique Book of the Dead, more than 2,000 years old, belonged to Amozi, a figure mentioned 260 times in the elaborate document. The scroll was discovered rolled up in Amos's sarcophagus, portraying Osiris, the god of the underworld. Amosi's lavish commission indicates wealth and power. The Book of the Dead, a collection of spells aiding the deceased's journey to the afterlife, contains 113 chapters meticulously penned in hieratic script, a cursive form used by ancient Egyptians. Among its vivid illustrations is Osiris adorned in his traditional Atef crown, seated on a throne. Restored and translated, the scroll now resides in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Detailed images of Osiris, animals representing offerings, and boats symbolizing vessels to the underworld adorn the ancient text. An intriguing illustration suggests Amos and his unnamed wife revering Egyptian deities. Notably, this isn't the only recent find. In 2021, archaeologists unearthed another Book of the Dead, but this time 13 feet or 4 meters long at the same site. 14. Viking Hall in Denmark unearthed. Did you know that Vikings were not just fierce warriors, but also skilled community builders? Archaeologists in Denmark have recently unearthed a remarkable find, a structure believed to be a Viking community hall, potentially hosting political meetings and gatherings during the late 9th to early 11th centuries. This discovery near Hune, northern Denmark, stands out as the largest Viking Age find of its kind in over a decade, measuring up to 131 feet or 40 meters long and 26 to 32 feet or 8 to 10 meters wide, this prestigious hall, supported by rectangular oak posts, hints at its significance. The design mirrors structures found at Harold Bermitten's ring fortresses, such as Firket and Agersborg. Harold Bman, also known as Harold Bluetooth, ruled Denmark from around 958 to 985 AD, and yes, he's the namesake of the Bluetooth technology we use today. The hall's grandeur suggests it was more than a common dwelling, possibly serving as a hub for powerful Viking families. The archaeological team suspects it might have belonged to Runulv den Radsnilde, a nobleman based on a nearby runestone dated between 970 and 1020 AD that bears an inscription mentioning his family. Excitingly, this discovery is just the tip of the iceberg. Archaeologists believe more structures, possibly houses, could be hidden nearby, providing a deeper glimpse into Viking life and society. 13. Norse Hall Discovered in Rousse While the Norse once pillaged and conquered, their history is also being unearthed, quite literally, in the Orkney Isles. Imagine a team of archaeologists, residents, and students uncovering the remnants of a massive Norse hall beneath the Scale farmstead on Rousse Island. Dating back to the 10th to 12th centuries AD, this discovery adds another piece to the Egypt of the North. The hall, 
with walls extending over 43 feet or 13 meters, showcases stone benches and internal features hinting at a high status site. Statite from Shetland, pottery, a bone spindle whirl, and a fragment of a Norse bone comb provide a tangible link to the past, offering insights into diet, farming, and fishing practices of Norse settlers. Named after Earl Sigurd, a powerful chieftain mentioned in the Orkneyinga saga, Scale presents a rich archaeological tapestry spanning from Norse habitation to its 19th century abandonment during the Ruse clearances. 12. Ancient city Zakiku. Zakiku was a submerged mystery, a 3,400-year-old city hidden beneath the waters of the Mosul Reservoir in Iraq. However, nature had its own plan. A prolonged drought compelled locals to draw water for irrigation, causing the reservoir to shrink and revealing the ancient metropolis that once stood on the River Tigris. The unexpected dry spell became a race against time for German and Kurdish archaeologists. In their frantic excavation, they uncovered an extraordinary Bronze Age city dating back to the Mitanni Empire from 1550 to 1350 BC. Towering fortifications, a multi-story storage building, and an industrial complex emerged from the mud, presenting a snapshot of ancient life. Kemun, the site of this submerged treasure, faced inundation due to the construction of the Mosul Dam in the early 1980s. The dam submerged numerous archaeological sites, including Zakiku. The recent discovery offered a second chance for exploration. Despite being over 40 years underwater, the fort's mud-brick walls stood tall, well-preserved beneath a protective layer of rubble from an ancient earthquake. A remarkable find within the city included a colossal storage building where vast quantities of goods were likely stockpiled, hinting at the city's economic significance. Five ceramic jars harboring over 100 cuneiform tablets surfaced, providing a glimpse into the Mitanni period's politics and economy. Even more astonishing, some clay tablets, possibly letters, remained sealed in their clay envelopes, offering a rare insight into ancient communication. The excavation uncovered remnants of a palace documented in 2018. With interior walls measuring up to 6.5 feet or 1.9 meters in thickness and vibrant painted murals, the palace stood on an elevated terrace along the Tigris's eastern bank. 11. Ancient Coins Sardinia Picture this, a diver off the shores of Sardinia near Artakina, Italy, catching a glimpse of something mysterious and metallic beneath the waves. But they didn't know that this fleeting moment would lead to the extraordinary discovery of tens of thousands of ancient bronze coins dating back to the 4th century AD. After the diver alerted Italy's culture ministry, a team of underwater archaeologists embarked on an exploration that uncovered a vast trove of ancient Roman and Byzantine currency. The site, scattered with at least 30,000 to possibly 50,000 well-preserved Follies coins, hinted at the presence of an ancient shipwreck beneath the waves. The Folls, once Roman bronze or copper coins, later became part of Byzantine currency. Astonishingly, these coins, dating from 324 to 340 AD, showcased remarkable legibility with only four showing signs of damage. Produced by mints across the Roman Empire, this discovery paints a vivid picture of the economic exchanges of the time. This underwater treasure trove isn't just about currency. As the archaeological team delved deeper, they uncovered walls of amphorae, tall, narrow-necked jugs with two handles originating from Africa and the East. These amphorae were likely used for transporting goods. Luigi La Rocca, an official from Sardinia's archaeology department, deemed this find one of the most significant coin discoveries in recent years. It not only highlights the richness of our archaeological heritage, but also emphasizes the 
maritime crossroads that ancient seas represented, connecting diverse cultures through trade and exchange. 10. Paintings of Goddess in Coffin of 3,000-Year-Old Mummy We all know that the Egyptians believed in life after death and that they left food and treasures for their journey to the other side. But sometimes the secrets unfold when we least expect them. Meet Tarkar Hab, an ancient Egyptian mummy who recently revealed a hidden surprise. As conservators lifted her from a century-long slumber in Scotland's Perth Museum and Art Gallery, they discovered vibrant paintings adorning her coffin's lower section. Among the images is a well-preserved portrayal of the Egyptian goddess Amente, also known as She of the West. Clad in a red dress with ribbons adorning her arms, the goddess stands on a platform, a scene likely inspired by a statue. 9. World's Second Deepest Blue Hole After centuries hidden beneath the ocean's surface, a new marvel has come to light, Tam Jad, the world's second deepest blue hole. Discovered off the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, this giant underwater cavern in Chetimal Bay reaches a depth of around 900 feet or 275 meters, spanning an area of 147,000 square feet or 13,660 square meters, just trailing behind the record holder, the Dragon Hole in the South China Sea, Tam Jia has unveiled its mysteries to scientists from El Colegio de la Frontera Sur. Blue holes captivating underwater caves formed when seawater meets porous limestone remain a fascinating geological enigma. 8. Pool of Siloam When the workers of the IR, David Foundation, undertook the routine excavation work for a sewer in 2004, little did they dream they would stumble upon the hidden marvel of the Pool of Siloam in Jerusalem. This historical treasure, dating back to the Second Temple period, played a pivotal role in the annual pilgrimage to Jerusalem, serving as the starting point for devotees on their ascent to the Temple Mount. The pool, rediscovered under the watchful eyes of archaeologists Eli Shukron and Ronnie Reich, unveiled stone steps that hinted at its ancient origins. As the excavations progressed, the pool's vastness emerged. 225 feet or 68 meters wide, trapezoid in shape, adorned with three sets of five steps leading to a platform. 7. Roman Shrine, discovered near Leicester Cathedral Graveyard. During excavations for a new visitor and learning center near Leicester Cathedral, archaeologists unearthed what appears to be a Roman shrine. This discovery supports the long-standing tradition that the cathedral was built on a Roman temple, as suggested by 19th-century antiquarian findings. The newly found Roman building, believed to have had shrine status, contains a broken altar base and offers insights into Leicester's sacral heritage dating back 2,000 years. The shrine may have been dedicated to gods like Mithra, Dionysus, or Isis. The site, less than 165 feet or 50 meters from where King Richard III's remains were discovered, has also yielded Roman coins, a well-preserved hairpin, brooch remains, and Gaulish pottery fragments. The excavation, shedding light on Roman, Anglo-Saxon, and medieval Leicester, uncovered over 1,100 human remains from the former graveyard 6. Ancient Crypt Discovered Beneath High Street Vape Shop This ancient crypt could be the key for unlocking Maidstone's hidden history. Discovered beneath a vape shop during a routine gas meter reading, the medieval stone chamber beneath a vapo in Kent may date back to the early 14th century, with vaulted ceilings and walls made of Kentish ragstone, indicative of a monastery. This crypt reveals a fascinating blend of historical periods, including adaptations made over the centuries. Amateur historian Simon White, collaborating with the shop manager Sam Jessup, uncovered evidence suggesting the cellar was part of an early 14th century priory. While it was never inhabited, the crypt's remarkable preservation offers insights 
into the region's past. This find echoes similar crypts beneath nearby establishments, creating the possibility of a broader network of basements and tunnels dating back nearly 700 years. The crypt's original purpose remains a mystery, prompting speculation about smuggling, escape routes, or even the disposal of bodies during historical outbreaks like tuberculosis. 5. Leftovers from 2,000-Old Feast When I say leftovers from a 2,000-year-old feast, I mean more than just scraps. Archaeologists from Museum of London Archaeology have unearthed a mid-late Iron Age farmstead, providing a captivating glimpse into ancient social gatherings. The A428 Black Cat to Caxton Gibbet Improvement Scheme revealed a pit brimming with animal bones, pottery vessels, and burnt stones, an unmistakable sign of a substantial feast or communal gathering. In Iron Age Britain, such sites were vital meeting places where communities celebrated special events, exchanged gifts, and engaged in trade. The findings, including beef, mutton, and pork remains, offer insights into Iron Age dietary habits. Moreover, the presence of imported ingredients like olives and coriander hints at evolving culinary influences. The pottery vessels discovered during the excavation may unravel trading or gift exchanges, possibly extending across the channel. 4. Ice Age Axe Axes from an ancient past have unveiled a remarkable glimpse into the Ice Age as researchers from UCL Archaeology Southeast unearthed approximately 800 prehistoric treasures on a Kent hillside above the Medway Valley. Dating back around 300,000 years, these artifacts mark the earliest prehistoric tools discovered in the UK. Among these treasures is a colossal 12-inch or 30-centimeter hand axe. Senior archaeologist Letty Ingrey describes this hand axe as giant, raising intriguing questions about its purpose and the species of early humans who crafted it. The landscape around Medway Valley, teeming with deer, horses, and now extinct straight-tusked elephants, was a wild expanse 300,000 years ago. As Neanderthals and other early human species emerged, these monumental tools might have served practical, symbolic, or ritualistic functions. 3. Pictish Stone Highland Cemetery During Fiona Begg's quest to uncover her family's past in the historic Alpster graveyard, a seemingly routine investigation turned into an extraordinary discovery, an ancient Pictish stone possibly dating back to the 8th century. Fiona stumbled upon the intricately patterned stone beneath layers of soil and grass, initially drawn by what she believed to be an inscription. To her amazement, the stone revealed wavy lines characteristic of Pictish art. Her find adds a remarkable chapter to the mains of Ulster's history, which is already steeped in the legacy of a chapel dedicated to St. Martin. As Fiona reached out to Lord and Lady Thurso about her discovery, the couple expressed genuine interest. Now, the Yarrow's Heritage Trust is actively involved in carefully removing the Pictish stone from its resting place for restoration, with plans to eventually showcase this newfound treasure. 2. Saxon Graves Found Under Croydon Car Park Saxon secrets have emerged beneath the surface of a seemingly ordinary Croydon car park, revealing a captivating chapter in history. An archaeological survey prompted by the Council's redevelopment plans for the Lion Green Road car park in Coolsdon uncovered a trove of 18 Saxon graves. These graves, believed to be from the Saxon era, held intriguing details such as six skeletons buried with iron knives clasped in their left hands. This fascinating discovery follows earlier excavations that revealed Roman burials, an undated dog burial, and two disrupted graves, adding layers to the historical tapestry beneath the car park. The Museum of London Archaeology, entrusted with the excavations, brought forth these remarkable finds during surveys in both March 2021 and 2022. 1. Skeletons discovered 
in rare 5,000-year-old tomb. A 5,000-year-old tomb, believed to be one of the pinnacle examples of Neolithic engineering in Scotland, has been rediscovered in Orkney. The tomb at home, East Mainland, was nearly lost after Victorian antiquarians damaged much of the site 127 years ago. Despite the damage, archaeologists from National Museum Scotland and Cardiff University found 14 carefully arranged skeletons of men, women, and children. The tomb features a stone can 50 feet or 15 meters in diameter, a 23 feet or 7 meter long passage, and a stone chamber surrounded by six smaller cells. This type of tomb has been recorded only 12 times in Orkney, and it provides a unique opportunity to learn about the lives of Neolithic people. What other captivating finds do you reckon are waiting to surprise us in the days ahead? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.